Hello friends, welcome back to the course Math Essentials for Machine Learning and in today's topic uh, we are going to look into vectors more from a geometry perspective. Okay, We are going to understand what the direction of vectors mean, how we can do vector addition using geometry, simple geometry of course and what does scalar multiplication means in again in the form of a geometry. Okay, okay. so we are going to look into uh, the concept of uh, directions all right and when we say direction so we can basically draw a x axis and say y axis and suppose um, we have a vector called as say something as say 3 and 2 so these are the two values we have and this is for say vector v equal to 3 2 all right so, if I have to uh, draw this in a uh, geometrical way, then I can go 3 in the x right direction. Okay. Say this is my x and this is my y and similarly here this would be say x and this would be y. Of course, we can have say minus 1 in the z direction and beyond uh, 3 dimension of course, we will not be able to visualize, but for the timing let us say we have only 3 and 2 as our value. So, uh, 3 here and say 2 here. So, my point is say somewhere here right 3 and 2. So, it is 3, 2. So, if I will draw a straight line here. So, my vector now 3 and 2 uh, looks something like this and it is in the positive quadrant of the x y graph right. So, it is going towards uh, a certain angle 3 and 2 and there is something an angle between them which we will look at it later ok. For the time being uh, the value 3 and 2 can be represented uh, in a something like this ok. Now, one interesting thing is uh, it does not have to start from 0. So, what I mean by that is say if my graph looks something like this and here are my ticks which I call it ticks and uh, I can basically start from here ok. So, this is 1, this is 2 starts from 0. So, basically I can start from here as well which is the point 1, 2, but then I can go 1 to the right, 2 to the right, 3 to the right and I have to go up by 2. So, I can come here. So this is also exactly the same representation. So, my graph here and my vector here and my vector here they both represent the same thing. I can also do something like this. So, I can start somewhere here go 3 points to the right and 2 points up and I can show this. So, this is also. Uh, so, what it means is it moves 3 steps in the x axis and 2 steps in the y axis. Okay, So, I have been telling that you know we have to go x axis and y axis uh, so far, but then now let us even further generalize it. Okay, We do not even have to go or stay in the positive x direction. My uh, you know uh, my vector could also be something like this you know. Uh, and say 2. So, basically my vector could be also something like this. Okay. It is 1 and say it is 2. Okay. So, basically it can be in the negative quadrant. All it has to do is it has to go 3 points to the right and 2 points to the up. Okay. So, that is all what is meant by vectors uh, direction. If we are just showing the direction, we are not concerned about in which uh, uh, quadrant they are. So, it can also be represented. I am just iterating the same point over and over again. So, that it becomes clear that uh, the, the vector is only interested in the direction and nothing to do with uh, the position or uh, position in the quadrant. So, basically it can you know also go point up ok and 2 point uh, 2 in the up direction 3 in the uh, x axis or you can say the horizontal axis at this point of time. Now, 
what does this uh, 3 and 2 represent so remember we have seen the titanic data and age was a vector right and so we can represent v is equal to uh, so v is uh, the age vector and we are representing say 20 22 years of some passenger and say 38 years of some other passenger right now of course depending on the number of records uh, this will keep increasing till n numbers of uh, data so the first one will represent as say x axis in a geometrical form y direction and this is of course the n axis so this is a very uh, simple concept but then i see many people get confused by this so you know just if we have to represent a vector in a uh, visual form then of course we can only do uh, x y and z axis uh, humanly we can see only 3d objects uh, so basically but then there could be n number of records and that basically means that n number of axes right so that's all what is meant by vector direction hope this gives you some clear idea so whenever we are going to represent uh, vector in the geometrical form this is a very useful concept and going forward we can see that this will also help us in solving and understanding many of the machine learning problem okay so let's uh, now look into the uh, concept of vector addition again but this time we will do it uh, in, a, in a geometrical pattern okay so what we are going to do is take two vectors say v1 is equal to say 2 and 2 again vectors could be from the example of a kegel it could be the age data or we can from the housing price prediction it could be the first floor square feet right uh, so v1 can be one of this and v2 could be again similarly could be another column from the data set and it could be say 1 and 2 now if i have to visually do it so what i will do is i'll put some ticks here and put some ticks here so the first vector is 2 2 so 2 here and then it goes up by 2 okay so i will just plot it please excuse my drawing i just got a new uh, digital pen <laughs> and i'm still getting used to it um, okay so uh, it's 2 by 2 and then uh, we have a second vector which is 1 and 2 so which basically starts from here okay and it's up here so if i draw then it's somewhere here all right now from a list operations that we saw earlier and if you have to add two vectors say v1 plus v2 so we could have done by element wise right so basically 2 plus 1 the first element is 3 and the bottom element is 4 so i could have done uh, this way right and geometrically what i can do is uh, this is my first one so if i cho choose the color okay i'll just take the red color and uh, this is my uh, point 2 2 and what i will do is i will add the next vector right after it okay so it is 1 2 so basically from this point right i'll go one in the right direction which is here and two in the up direction okay so my resultant vector will be somewhere here and if i check check it now so if i draw a vertical line in the bottom so this is 3 and if i go in the vertical direction this is 4 so basically my resultant vectors direction is in the point of 3 and 4 so which we got from the list operation and diagrammatically also or geometrically also we got the same so just to clarify let's take uh, a quick example uh, so w1 is equal to say 1 2 and say w2 is equal to say minus 1 and 1 okay so this is a different example so what you cannot do is from list wise we know that w1 plus w2 is first element will be 1 minus 1 will be of course 0 and the second element will be 3 okay let's see um, geometrically can we achieve the same thing so I'm just going to put some ticks and also in the negative direction okay so the first one is 1 and 2 so this is somewhere here okay 1 and 2 so this point is 1 comma 2 
and the second point is minus 1 and 1 so that means minus 1 is here and 1 is here okay so I can draw a line like this here so basically this point is in this direction and this point here this point here is 1 2 okay so what I am going to do next is I am going to take the say the negative 1 uh, this arrow here which is 1 and minus 1 and 1 so I am going to start from here minus 1 means go in the negative direction okay so uh, and then uh, there is a positive 1 so my negative direction would be this way okay and we will go up by one direction okay which will be this one so if I plot it to look at something like this so basically I am taking this portion here and I am shifting it here okay which means the same thing so where, I, where do I land here so this is my final point so which is 3 and from x axis y is 0 so basically what I get is 0 3 so which I got from the same operation here hope this clarifies the uh, doing vector addition in uh, gym okay so following to the vector addition let us look uh, a simple concept of scalar multiplication so we have already seen in our um, previous video that say we have a, uh, if we have a vector say v1 is equal to say 2 2 and if we have a scalar multiplication of say a is equal to 0 0.5 then a times v1 will be nothing but 1 and 1 right so if we do the same thing geometrically what does it mean is so i have two ticks here and two ticks here so basically my first vector is um, 1 2 so 2 here and then i go up by 2 so this is my point 2 comma 2 and the direction is this way okay. now I am using a scalar multiplication of a is equal to 0, 0 0.5 so it basically means it is supposed to get half so if I take a red color here so basically my point now becomes half of this length so basically it comes here so that what it is meant by like 1 and 1 now if my multiplication factor was b is equal to say minus 0 0.5 then my vector v1 b, b times v1 would be minus 1 minus 1 and that will be exactly the same thing but the only thing will happen is it will change its direction by the minus 1 so basically now it became minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 this side minus 1 on this side yeah depending on your scalar multiplication your direction could change if it is a negative number then probably the direction will be flipped uh, same thing so if I take another quick example so say if my vector v1 is equal to say uh, 2 and 3 and my multiplication factor scalar multiplication say is uh, minus 1 then and if I had a graph like this then 2 in the y x axis or in the right direction I should say and 3 in the up vertical direction right so somewhere here right and it would oops again sorry for my drawing but you, you can understand that this is the point 2 3 and if I multiply it by minus 1 so basically it will go here come here so basically it will go minus 2 in this direction minus 2 and 3 in this direction so basically the point will lie somewhere here and come this side okay so basically I am flipping the direction of the vector so I hope this gives you a clear picture so again where do we do scalar multiplication if you remember uh, when we are adding the total bathrooms in the property then we were using a multiplication factor of point positive uh, 0 0.05 0 0.5 uh, and but in other projects in other uh, data sets we could multiply with negative numbers as well so hopefully this gives you an understanding that how the scale of your vector changes depending on the multiplication now the third item in our topic was the 
calculating the magnitude now that will take up in the our next video till then have a great day and i hope you have learned something new today